off the windswept Essex coast. A thousand-year-old industry is still grappling with an age-old problem. To boost oyster stocks, fishermen need to know exactly when the animals are reproducing. In a much warmer lab at Essex University, scientists think they've found an answer. You can see that the magnet is connected to the top half there, so then we can measure the amount of opening, the amount of gaping that the oysters do. When female oysters release their eggs, they do something strange. She shows a behaviour for 45 minutes, one hour, something like that, where, you know, the valves go pump, pump, pump in a very steady rhythm. And you can see the eggs coming out from this rare footage shot by scientists in Alabama. Using a magnet and a sensor, the Essex team can monitor that opening and closing. Now they're testing it at sea. So Tom, it's quite an office you've got here on a raft in the middle of the estuary. It, it absolutely is. It's a bit colder today, <laughs> but, we, but we, we do get to work out here. The purpose of the sensor is to tell us when 50% or more of the oysters that are down here in the water attached to wires have already spawned. We can actually see the spawning behaviour through the dynamics of the valves of the oysters opening and closing, sending that signal up the wire into the data hub up to a 4G connectivity um, transmitter that will send a signal back to the mobile phone connected computer in the office of the oysterman. Once they get that signal, Colchester Oyster Fishery has just a matter of days to lay tons of crushed shells onto the sea floor. The baby oysters love to settle on the shells and grow, but lay them too early and they get covered in mud, lay them too late and the larvae get washed away. The oyster data could bring other benefits too. This estuary is experiencing climate change. It has changing temperature regimes, so we've seen warmer coastal seas here, than, warmer than we have before, and warmer environments more often than we have before. And it'd be great to be able to use this tool to get more rich information on how species are responding to their environment here in the wild. Richard the Lionheart granted the first rights to fish these waters. Now the latest science is keeping one of our oldest industries alive. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Mersey Island in Essex.